Setting up grip bars and free commas is really easy. Although you need to remember some key things so that you make the most out of them. First of all, we're just going to have a look at the overlay and how you essentially create a grid bot. So on free commas, you can navigate on the left hand on the menu to grid bots. And then you can on the top, you can see that you can choose your account and then also the pair that you want to trade. And when you are creating a grid bot, essentially you want cryptos that move very slowly and that always move between the range. So with grid bots, I personally prefer to use bigger coins, for example, Bitcoin or Ethereum, because since they are the biggest cryptos, they have the most volume and also move the slowest. So they always tend to trade between a range, whereas other cryptos, for example, if you have Doge or Shiba Inu, you know that they don't really trade in a range for an extended amount of time, but they tend to pump and dump. So I would look up a few coins and then decide for yourself if you think that this crypto is one that tends to trade between a range. When setting up a grid bot, you can choose either an AI strategy or a manual strategy, where the AI strategy, I think, looks at the past 10 days and looks then for a low and um, high points. And between those two, it will create a grid. So in this example, you can see that the last few days, Bitcoin really pumped a lot. You can see that the AI strategy in this case doesn't even work because it would need to wait until it hits this level so that we can sell. Um, so most of the time, I don't recommend using AI strategies because I think the little, they need a little bit more tweaking from free commas to really work properly. So instead, I'm just going to choose man manual strategy. Now, when you're creating a grid bot, you can set it up so that it runs for a long period of time or that it runs for a short period of time. And you yourself can specify that by specifying the lower and the upper price point. For example, if I want to bot that trades over a very long period of time, then I can, for example, um, go to the weekly chart and then set my lower price point around the lows, which were around 30K, and then um, set the upper price point at the all-time high. Now with this, the bot will trade in between this range and looking at the chart, you can see that it has been in this range for over a year. So it will probably continue to be in this range. So you can expect that the grid bot will be working um, for a longer period of time. Um, you could also, on the other hand, create a grid bot that runs for a short period of time. So for example, if we were to create the grid bot right now, I would probably put my lower price point around this low. So around here, and then my upper sell point will probably be around the previous swing high, which will be around here. So then you can see that the range is a lot smaller, and it will probably um, and it will probably not take that long, so that the price either breaks above or below the price point, and then you will get stuck in an open position, and your grip bot will just wait until it goes back into the price range. So with a grip bot, you always have to monitor the price closely because essentially with cryptos, you know that they can move a lot during the day. For example, to reach the upper price point, it's only 10%. Obviously, Bitcoin can move 10% very quickly. If you don't look at the price um, for a longer period of time, you will see that you get stuck in a position and you maybe end up with a big loss if the price, for example, goes even higher. So I personally recommend if you don't want to spend too much time in front of the chart, then you can set up a bigger grid like I showed before. Then it will still um, produce you some passive income, even though the profit will be a lot smaller. But you don't have to monitor the price as closely. Because if the price goes above the upper limit or below the lower limit, you will probably have looked at the chart a few weeks prior or a few days prior, and you probably would have anticipated that it will happen very soon. Whereas if you have a small grid, Again, this can happen within a few hours and maybe if you don't look at it in a few, in a few days, then you will get stuck in an open position. Now on the left, you can then also specify how many grids you want. So if I specify a bigger grid, essentially I want to have more grids in between so that I can make the profit more often. It doesn't mean that you will make more profit, it just means that you will see the profit more often. So you can see that it then specifies how much you buy per grid, and then how much you need in total. What you can also do 
because this is most of the time the most practical way is let's say I know I want to create the bot with $10,000. Then I can say I want to use $10,000. And then I can say, okay, I want 20 grids. Then I can change it again and it will automatically change the quantity per grid. So essentially, you only need to know how much you want the bot to trade in total with and also how many grids that you want. Also, you can specify a stop loss for the upper limit and the lower limit. So again, this is more useful if you have a smaller time frame, but you can also use it if you have a grid bot like this and maybe you want to just create the bot and then forget about it. And then after five years, you have a look at it and you will see, okay, it stopped out on my grid bot, but it made this amount of profit. Now, if you scroll further down, you can see all your enabled and disabled grid bots. So you can see that I already had a Bitcoin grid bot running in the past and now I have a Luna grid bot enabled. Now, if you click on the pair, you will now pull up a trading view chart and it will overlay exactly how your grid is looking. And you can now see that the bot is waiting until it reaches another price point. You can also see it specified here. And then you can see all your recent transactions. So we can see that the profit per grid will always be the same. And they also have a really cool view. So if you, instead of now, switch to week or month, you can see how the price has been developing and you can then see how many buy orders you already had and how many sell orders you already had. So it's a really cool overview of your grid bot.